one to one um, between Net Wars and SJ. And the next two players, ooh, are gonna be Pike and Whistler. It's gonna be a ZVZ. Ooh, very exciting. Um, I'm really excited to see Whistler's form now, actually. Uh, he was a really solid player uh, maybe a year, year and a half ago. Uh, kind of like when I just started casting, basically, he was like a really top tier Zerg. And, uh, uh, and then he kind of like went AFK, I don't know, maybe six months to a year ago. Um, and kind of just very recently came back again and, and rejoined SJ. So, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what kind of form he is in, but if he's on form, he's a very, very scary player. Uh, Pike, on the other hand, seems to have been doing kind of poorly recently. Um, you know, he kind of bombed out. He didn't even qualify for... Or no, he, he qualified for TLS, but he kind of bombed out in the early rounds, and uh, I think his results in, in Defiler and, and even Gamma's Cup haven't been fantastic. Um, or sorry, Nation Wars, rather, haven't been fantastic. So, uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous about it. I mean, I quite like Pike, uh, so a bit sad to see him uh, kind of slumping a little bit, I guess. But we shall see how he does against Whistler. Do, do, do. All right, game number three. It's gonna be on Polaris Rhapsody, it seems. And oops, I didn't change the names properly. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Pike Whistler. All right, so it looks like at the bottom right, as the purple Zerg, we will have Net Wars Pike. At the top left, as the orange Zerg, we will have Whistler. And good old Pajonk. He's here again, it looks like Whistler being a cool guy, letting him observe. Good old Whistler. His name makes me think he's like, uh, you know, like a golden retriever or something. Is there some famous golden retriever character called Whistler? I'm pretty sure there is. Oh wait, no, I know who Whistler is. Isn't Whistler, um, Blade's sidekick? You know, like the vampire hunter guy? He's Blade's sidekick, isn't he? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. All right, so either Golden Retriever or Blade Psychic, one or the other. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So it was like Overlord and no Overlord. So uh, we're gonna have a nine pool here for Mr. Pike. Don't know why. <laughs> uh, I guess he's not in form. It's all good though. It's all good. Pike's not really in form either, as I was saying. So I guess we'll see what happens now. Polaris Rhapsody is a two-player map, so you can see both Overlords heading straight towards each other. Oh, it looks like Pajonk is a Whistler fan. I'm a, I'm a Whistler fan, he's pretty good. Pretty cool dude. I think he's Norwegian. Or something. He's Scandinavian, I'm pretty sure from... Actually, wait, wait, no, is he Norwegian? You know what? I can actually just check, hold on. Uh... Oh wait, no, I'm on fish, I can't do that. Damn it! Ah, oh well. So it's gonna be Nipole with gas here. Versus, uh oh, uh oh, it's versus a 12 hatch. That's probably gonna go badly. For Whistler, the only thing helping him is the the fact that the rush distance on this map is a little bit long. Okay, it looks like he's actually Norwegian. Sweet, I was right. I was right. Um, but this is not gonna end well. Hmm. And another thing, another thing is that the uh, well, a bad thing for Whistler is that the distance from the main minerals to to actually defend this is. Well, it's actually not that long. You know what? Actually, this is not that long. This could. This is. This is okay. There's some maps where it's like a really long distance to your natural, and then that just makes it even worse. But uh, that's actually okay. Uh, so we have two guys on gas. That's pretty standard. And he did, of course, get speed first. And now the Overlord should see those links. I'm pretty sure he sees the links. So what is the reaction here? It looks like he's making a creep colony. I feel like that means that he's probably going to cancel this at the last second and just try and defend his main. But the thing is, see, this is actually might even finish before the links get there. So normally what happens is the links get here, the, the hatchery's like 80% done, and they attack it for a little bit, and you just cancel it at the last second. Uh, so you delay the links. Yeah, so he's just gonna cancel this and just defend the main. Uh, ooh, it does save the drone as well, and Sun Conley is on the way, so he's gonna be okay, but... Um, but obviously, uh, kind of wasted that... Uh, wouldn't waste the minerals. He wasted some minerals, because you lose some minerals when you cancel a hatchery. His tech, of course, uh, is gonna be a little bit behind. His lair is actually not that much slower than Pike's, it's just that he doesn't actually have speed. 
Uh, and he's got these excess minerals, so he could very light well just put it in his main, another hatchery. Yeah, looks like he is going to do that. Uh, very smartly actually using the damage drone there, I think that's a good move there. Don't want to have a random damage drone in your mineral line, because uh, with this link speed, Pike could easily run in and snipe these drones. So just a little, uh, little subtlety there that I think is quite nice. Don't even know if it was intentional, but I'm just going to assume it's going to give him a benefit of the doubt. So we do have the extra hatchery here in the main. And, you know, I think he still is ahead in drones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, on the minerals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, definitely ahead on drones. I mean, that it's obvious, you know, you would expect that having gone for the 12 patch versus the 9 pool. Um, but I wasn't actually sure. Just wanted to confirm that. And, uh oh, Sunken Rush. Sunken Rush, shoot, rushy, rushy. He's got to not do it in range of that Sunken, though. That'd be pretty bad. And that's gonna be annoying. Oh man, he's gonna build a suck in here. He's gonna put that. The Ling's gonna kill it. And oh, nice cancel time there, actually. And oh, why is Pike engaging in the range of the sunken? Oh man, wasting some Ling's there. Really just wants to have these kind of hold position here by his own sunken. And oh, this is so bad for Wisdom. Like, what? Is, he, well, there's nothing he can actually do right now. He doesn't even have the extra larva from the second hatchery. Um, he's, I think he's just gotta pull all his drones right now or something. He's gonna build double sunkins here to try and help defend. But is it gonna be enough here? He's got his lings, but man, this is so tense. He's now got a second hatchery so he can make double the ling numbers compared to Pike. And the thing is, this has to work for Pike. And why is he attacking this? Why is he attacking the spawning pool? He should be attacking the sunkins. Why is this sunken attacking the spawning pool? Oh my god, completely mistargeting by Pike, a huge mistake there. I don't know why he was that before. He took 200 HP off the pool instead of off his opponent's Sunkins, and it looks like Whistler holds it after a colossal mistake from Pike. However, Pike does have his Spire almost finished. The Spire of Whistler has only just started. He needs to build an evolution chamber right now if he wants to survive. He sees it with the Overlord. I don't know why, it looks like he might he might just try and delay as much as possible the Lings and try and not make the Evolution Chamber, but the problem is that the Overlord of, uh, of Pike sees that, so he can just like send one Muta to go attack and leave one Muta to defend and, uh, and you know, just basically deny any kind of, any scores uh, from his opponent. It looks like a couple of Lings on the top of the ramp is going to die. Man, what's up with this go though? He's got so many more Lings. Yeah, he should just go. Uh, there's a Sunken though. But he basically just needs to buy time for his own spire to finish. It's only halfway done right now, but it looks like Pike is going to just use his Mutas to take down the Zerbings, and this I don't think is what he should be doing. I think he, you know, I'm pretty sure this Sunken here with good drone drills will be enough to defend in addition to the reinforcing Mutas, so he should actually just go attack uh, straight for the drone line, kill, uh, kill as many drones as possible. Whistler just spamming these Lings really does not want these Mutas to go to his base, but it looks like they're heading straight over now, going to ignore the Link counterattack, which is going to be spotted by this one random Muta. Now, this one Sunken, though, with not many drones is still slightly vulnerable. Looks like uh, Pike is making more links to defend against this while going for the Muta counterattack. The Spire is just about to finish. He doesn't have many minerals though. He's gonna have to make a bunch of Scourge or something. He's gonna lose a lot of drones in the meantime, but here is the Link counterattack. It looks like a few links running around the backside. The drones blocking, doing a good block, but a few links do close, but it looks like this Link attack is not gonna be good enough. It is gonna get taken down here very easily by the reinforcing links. Meanwhile, all of the drones are going down. GG! Pike takes down Whistler despite, despite that huge mistake in targeting the failed Sunken Rush and is still able to take it down. Oh man, that should have gone Whistler's way, I'm pretty sure. But uh, that means Net Wars is going up 2-1 in this best of seven. Okay.